Hey guys, Josh here. Welcome back to another Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town live stream. So today is the 18th day of summer. So I've been, I feel like I've been playing this game the whole weekend. And I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys, I've seen that a lot of you guys are excited for this game. Um, yeah, I just want to say before we start, thank you so much, everybody who's watched the previous stream and who's watched all of the videos as well. It's so nice to be interacting with all of you and responding to your comments. And yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this game in the last week. So yeah, thank you so much for being here already. Hey, Leptail, Esther, Daniel, Tabison, OMG, it's Smiley. Not telling everybody. Hope you guys are all doing amazing. So here's my house. So today we have a lot of things to do. As you can see, I've customized my house a little bit. I've added a little clock, a little mirror. You can't do anything uh, with them. Well, you can see the time on the clock, but um, yeah, I've got my little trophy here for the summer festival. And <laughs> yeah, the thing with the furniture. So a lot of people asked, but the only place for now that I can put furniture in my whole house is just this corner so this is it's kind of weird right I'm not sure I know there's a few other house upgrades so hopefully <laughs> with the next upgrades you can actually place more stuff but you know what I wish I would be able to move the table and everything but it is what it is for now and <laughs> we're gonna see if we have more space in the future love the content oh thank you so much You've made a lot of progress already. Yeah, I did. So today we're going to make a lot of progress too. There's a lot of things on our plate today. So I'm going to show you guys. So, oh yeah, so it's raining. So I don't have to water my crops. And so here is my garden. So yesterday I picked up a lot of stuff. So I'm going to have to buy some seeds and do this again. And as you can see, I have my little sprinkler. Actually, since it's raining, it's not working right now. But if it was the morning, you would see the water come out. And yeah, I feel like the sprinklers are very convenient. But at least so far, they're kind of expensive. Uh, because I'm still working on upgrading my tools from iron to silver. And for one tool, you need five silver ingots. And just for comparison, like one sprinkler is three silver in guts, right? So do I want to have <laughs> sprinklers or do I want to have upgraded tools? So for now, upgrading my tools to silver is a priority. But I'm sure that in the future, it's going to be a lot cheaper. Like three silver is not going to be that much. Three silvers and five in guts, actually. It's not going to be that much. So I'm guessing... Um, yeah, but for, for now, they're expensive. Okay, so we're gonna have to buy 27 plus 27 plus 9 uh, seeds. I'm always closing the gate, but there's no... <laughs> Fences are just aesthetic for aesthetic reasons. So let's take care of our little animals. Hey, Hannah, 64, Moonlight. Can't wait to see when you reach winter. I'm kind of curious about that season. Yeah, same. I'm curious to see... Sometimes in story of seasons, I feel like it's always different. Sometimes you can plant crops in winter. Oh, no Sometimes you can uh, plant crops in winter and sometimes you can't right so I'm curious to see if we're gonna be able to um, Okay, I just need to charge my controller. I'm gonna be back in one minute as you can see I've been playing a lot So this is why just give me one minute
Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So I just plugged my controller, and now I'm gonna be ready to start. Um, yeah, I wonder if the goddess or the sprite girl, <laughs> I'm not sure what's her English name. I wonder if she's gonna be a marriage candidate. That's a good question, actually. Uh, if you look here, I haven't noticed if she's even... She's probably at the bottom, right? Oh, she doesn't even show up in your relationships. So, I'm not sure. And there's one character that I have yet to meet. I was wondering, is it expensive to fix your bike? <laughs> Actually, I have no idea. So, at the beginning of the game, Clemens takes your bike to repair it. While Victor brings it to Clemens. And then you <laughs> just never hear back from him um, but I don't know I don't know if we're gonna have to pay for it or I'm guessing it takes a while like it's already been almost two months and my bike is still being repaired I don't know what he's doing I can't imagine he's that busy but I'm doing fine so far and we're gonna have a horse soon so that's one thing I would like to do today. So the stable here, uh, I need wood, but I think we might be able to do that today. And also there's two other things I want to repair first. Actually, I want to repair the silo. So I just need to make more bricks and then we're going to be good. And I want to repair this bridge that will allow me to go to which I can do right away. It will give me access to the third mine. And once I get there, I'm gonna be able to get gold. And if I'm not wrong, I think we can get diamond in the third mine as well. So that's the last mine. So Nigel is gonna repair that bridge. It's gonna take some time. So he's gonna get to work and tomorrow this will be done. So tomorrow we can go mining and maybe we can even start getting some gold tools. And now I still have ingots, I still have 17, so we just need bricks and then we can repair the silo. I heard that you might have to give him material to fix it. Well, that wouldn't make sense because every, everything in this game you need material, so... And yeah, I, I can imagine <laughs> he might not fix it for free. But for now, he he never said anything about my bike, so I'm guessing... It will come eventually uh, later down in the story. So what I would like to do, so today's Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, I'm gonna go buy some seeds. So I need 27 of something, 27 or something else, and then nine here. And there's 12 days left. So since there's only 12 days left, I'm not gonna buy something that grows again and again. Um, I don't know, let, let's see what we can buy. Can you upgrade your makers? So, so far there's only, there's no upgrades for the maker. So there's lots of different makers, but there are no upgrades so far. So it's really just, you can put one at a time and it takes a long time. And as you can see, I'm starting to have a lot of money now. I'm actually saving to improve my house. There's just so much I want to do. So many things to repair, so many things to improve. But yeah, I, I want to make a bigger house, but uh, what should we buy? I think maybe eggplant. I think I didn't buy eggplant, so it takes seven days, so we should be good. Maybe we can go with 27, 27 eggplant. And yeah, what else? What else? Maybe pumpkins. Maybe we can go. Mm, let's go with some onions. Let's go with 27 onions. Oh, and <laughs> let's get nine more because my bag is full. So let's just go with onions and eggplant. Hey, Sammy. Hey, guys. <laughs> don't, don't worry about being late. I'm glad you guys are here. I really wish the makers can make multiple copies. I know. 
like and like they they take a lot of space, right? They take basically uh, like four squares just for one maker. So as much as I would like to have like ten makers of because for example, like the mayonnaise, right? You have to put one egg and then it takes like I think two hours and then you get one mayonnaise. But if you have like in previous story of seasons, you would just come and put all of your eggs and then you get all of your mayonnaise immediately. But I can't imagine like if you have 10 chickens, you're gonna have to have basically 10 mayonnaise maker, right? So I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about the makers. I feel like it looks super messy, right? But yeah, um, I don't know. I'm gonna find a way to... <laughs> Maybe I should make an area of my farm just with makers and try to kind of hide them a little bit. So, all right, so let's start with this. Oh, Sammy, thank you so much for the super chat. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. Uh, when you cook food, is the finished product higher based on your crops level or cooking skill or both? Um, it depends on both if I'm not I'm, I know it depends of your cooking skills for sure but I'm pretty sure it depends on your the quality of your food you're using as well uh, but I haven't been cooking too too much so far actually <laughs> I'm watching from Australia love your videos I can't wait for the English release yeah it's coming soon guys one month Less than one month left to wait for everybody to get their hands on this game. So it's 125. Um, okay, let me get my eggs. I think I forgot my eggs this morning. Right, like this. But I feel like. So someone <laughs> compared the makers to the ones in Stardew Valley, but I feel like in Stardew Valley, I haven't played that game in such a long time, but I feel like they didn't take as much space. Like you could, if you could stick them like close to each other, like there's there's a gap between each makers, right? So I feel like that's one thing. Oh, and actually, so the the black and white chicken, they're actually silk chicken. Uh, if you didn't know. And they're, they lay brown eggs, and with the brown eggs, you can make two mayonnaise instead of one. If you use the white egg, it's just one mayo, but with the brown eggs, you get two. And let's make some bricks. So, how many bricks did I need? I need 20, right? Oh, I have four here. Also, one thing I would like to have is if the box, like the inventory of the boxes, if they were all shared. Like, I don't know if you guys have played like my time at Porsche, but you can see all of your boxes and like your inventory all together. Right? I think, I think it's right, right? Uh, but I think, yeah, but here they're all different. So you, if you're not organized, and I feel like I'm not too organized right now, uh, it, you can get lost easily, like, I need to get 20 bricks. I have 11 now, but I'm gonna take a look at my other... I don't know why I'm keeping this. Oh, also, I found I found some melon and some pineapple while I was walking around my farm, just like wild ones. And you can actually craft a seed maker. Um, yeah, you can craft a seed maker. Uh, so once we get gold so you need five gold ingots for the seed maker so what i would like to try is if you craft a seed maker and you put a melon or like a wild pineapple if after that you can get the seed because you cannot buy pineapple or melon at the store you cannot buy the seed at the store so if you make the seeds yourself i'm guessing they're gonna be kind of like a valuable crops so that's something i'm looking forward to discovering and experimenting with that gap between them does make it harder to look nice. Yeah. Hey, Paulina, how are you doing? Will there be golden chicken later on? I, so far, as far as I know, it's just, um, I want to keep my wool actually. Uh, yeah, I just want to sell my corn. I'm going to keep a little bit just for cooking. Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. Like <laughs> last time we reached 100 people, now we're at 120 today. It's 
getting <laughs> overwhelming. Uh, salut, hey, bonjour, k. Okay. Hope you guys are up. Everybody's doing good. Why can this be out in the US already? It's coming soon, guys. It's coming soon. Compared to previous Story of Seasons games, like I think uh, a Mineral Town, how I think Mineral Town took a quite a longer right to be released in the US. So one month difference is not too bad, but I know <laughs> it could feel like it takes forever. Has there been any options or events to upgrade what the stores sell? So far, not really. The stores have been sometimes. I've noticed in the general store, they've sometimes like new furniture comes up. So maybe it just depends on when you progress in the story. But I don't think there's anything special you have to do to trigger it. But yeah, I think the contents of the shop uh, change a little bit as you progress through the game. Um. I hope this game will be the one to get Switch players interested in Story of Seasons. I hope so as well. Like, I know a lot of people... Like, Mineral Town was a very, very good remake, but a lot of people didn't like it too much because... it was <laughs> It's a remake of a pretty old game, so people that were new to the series and that just played, like, Stardew Valley and other, like, recent games, they felt like there was not too much content. But hopefully with this one, yeah, we can get new people in the series uh, let me see okay so it's been raining a lot so there's a lot of puddles on my farm and actually even if it doesn't rain even on sunny days sometimes you will see puddles just accumulating oh also one little thing so in the summer right usually if you played any other history of seasons games you know but there's a lot of storms and usually what happens in the thunderstorm is that you can't go out and it's just a wasted day and then you come out the next day and your crops were demolished destroyed and you had rocks and junk all over your farm so in this one you can actually go out in the thunderstorm which is interesting and it looks very beautiful actually it looks very interesting to see the thunder and like the, the strong wind and everything um but yeah, so you can actually go out in the thunderstorm and it doesn't damage your crop whatsoever. And in this game, there's always so much junk spawning on your farm the next day, so it doesn't make any difference. So basically all of that to say that rain days and thunderstorms are pretty much the same thing. They do the same thing. Uh, do the puddles disappear after some time? I don't think, so. well, these ones, Definitely don't but the small ones. I think they don't as well. So you really need to be on top of it and <laughs> clean um, Yeah, you need you, you really do need to take care of them. Otherwise, they will just accumulate Uh, so far this game seems so much different and easier than Trio of Towns, but a lot of crafting. Yeah, there is definitely a lot of crafting. I feel like I'm spending most of my time in this game just crafting things. Uh, yeah, but it's quite fun so far. But yeah, I haven't played Trio of Towns. But it's fun. It's nice. This game reminds me of my time at Porsche quite a bit. Like... I don't know, I feel like it took some influence from that game. Um, Alright, so 5 p.m. already. I feel like we didn't do anything. We didn't have time to go out or anything. Um, but yeah, let's go see the villagers. So much cleanup to do. Yeah, but cleaning up does get easier once your tools are upgraded. Once you get the silver tools, it starts getting more manageable. So as you can see in the screenshot, this is Daisuke's house. I think actually his English name is Lovet. Lovet, if I'm not wrong. Um, yeah, so actually, at first I said that if you go to... I, I said something wrong, so I just want to correct myself. I said that he gives you recipe, but actually that's the... Uh, well, not the other way around, but he's requesting some recipes. And if you give them the recipes, 
uh, he will give you some rewards. So you come over here, and here you see everything that he wants to eat. And if you make these recipes for him, uh, he's gonna give you the items that are in the bottom right. So some items like this one is a maker sometimes it's just like vegetables and generic stuff but yeah and i already he wanted a salad at first so i did that and now there's just these five requests left so i don't know if once you do these five requests if he asks you for something else or if i don't know i don't know what happens when you finish everything hopefully you get some rewards or he asks you for more difficult recipes i don't know and his house is quite interesting, so everything's very fancy and gorgeous. And then you come over here, and his bed looks very kind of odd. And he has this big fridge, and you can actually cook in other people's kitchens. So that's interesting. So you don't have, if you have the ingredients, you can already make it. And it actually uses the inventory from your fridge, right? So in my place, in my fridge, I have rice. So if I want to make a cook white white rice, I can make it here even though the stuff is in my fridge and my place. So yeah, so that's good. And uh, let me see if there's anything I can cook that he asked me. I think he wanted this one, the seashell soup. Uh, I need to get like the clam in my on the beach and then I would be able to make that oh I could probably make that I just need some potato to make curry rice and some rice I can make the rice oh and I think he wanted this one actually just a cooked egg so we can give him that is it as grindy as my time at Porsche for crafting materials I think like <laughs> I think it is quite grindy. You have to go to the mines a lot. You have to do a lot of mining, a lot of cutting wood, and then you have to put stuff in the makers all the time. So, yeah, you have to keep that in mind. Uh, is there any items or products to protect your crops from damage from the storm? So there's no damage from the, from the storms in this game, so no worries about that. Um, can you have multiple pets? Yes, you can have multiple pets, but you need to upgrade your house first So when you get the log house, you can have one pet and after that you can get another pet. Oh, Phoenix Forest Thank you so much for the super chat. Well the super sticker. Oh, thank you so much uh, Rune Factory 4 I don't understand how the typhoon can dump trees. I don't remember <laughs> Yeah, I remember yeah, usually most uh, story of season games in Rune Factory. It's just so messy right after the storms. Uh, the answer because real storm do that kind of damage. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So okay. I just wanted to catch up with the chats, but yeah. So we've done that here. Let's give this to him. So as you can see, it gets removed. Uh, so maybe we can try to make get some clam, and we can make this like clam soup, clam chowder. And curry rice. I just need some potatoes. Um, you know what? I should have bought potatoes, but I didn't. I should have bought potatoes. Oh, you can actually. So, yeah. I haven't done that a lot, but you can actually go to the supermarket and buy the vegetables. If you don't want to grow crops and you just want to cook something, you can come here. I haven't bought anything from here, actually. And, oh, well, it's closed now, but... Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> do, you th do you guys think we can reach 150 people? I'm so not used to these <laughs> kind of numbers when I'm streaming, usually. So, <laughs> I just want to say I really appreciate that all of you guys are here. So, alright. Oh, I want to show you something. There's too many things I want to show you. Uh, but, as you can see, I have lots of hearts. now. So, there's a way to improve your stamina. And once you get a hundred Kodopon, which are the little earth sprites, you unlock this girl. I'm not gonna spoil too much. And you can pray. So I've actually, uh, I think you can do like five times for your stamina. 
And the next one is uh, I can upgrade my quality of my soil, but now I need 40 points. Or you can uh, get new Kolopon. Uh, so there's. Uh, <laughs> they give you items and they give you points that you can spend to buy some more items. And so if I'm looking for potato, for example, let's see, they probably do sell it. So let's see if we can buy some potato and then we can make the curry rice for Daisuke. Yeah, Rune Factory 4 was a little bit grindy, right? You know what? Actually, yesterday on... I So I played Rune Factory 4 on the 3DS quite a few years ago, but I don't have my three my 3DS anymore. It's at my parents' place. But I saw on Amazon yesterday that Rune Factory 4 was like 50% off. It was like $30 on the Switch. So I decided to order it and... I want to play Rune Factory 4 again, especially waiting for Rune Factory 5 that's coming on May 20th, the Japanese version. So I'm definitely, if you guys are excited for Rune Factory 5 as much as I am, stay tuned for that because there's going to be Rune Factory 5 content. But yeah, I want to play Rune Factory 4. So they give you, when you, you talk to them, they give you coins and this one is giving me grass. You just give me this grass. And like they all have like a specialty, so like this one gives you rocks, and like now he gave me one iron. And I know I showed this in the last stream, but I think there's a lot of new people. Um, so at the shrine, you can buy the other ones. And the more followers you give them, the more, the more they're gonna get coins and items for you. So. I like to spread them out a little bit so I have a little bit of everything. So let's get 30 to him. And let's get him some stuff. So I think this one gives you wood if I'm not wrong. And that's something you never have too much of. So yeah, he just gave me three lugs. That's not a lot, but... And then, you, oh, do I have space? Yeah, I do have one space. And then with the coins that they give you, so now I have 910, you can buy stuff. So if there's a potato, so sometimes they do have potato, but apparently, yeah, banana, orange. Um, the day that I want to buy potato, they don't have potato. But anyway, you can buy stuff from him. All right, so it's already 8. PM. I think we can call it a day and we can uh, go to the gold mine. Yeah, I can't wait for Rune Factory 5. I really like for I really like actually Rune Factory Oceans or Rune Factory Tides of Destiny. I think more than I don't know if I liked it more than 4. They were both very fun. Um, all right, so I think you know what? We still have a lot of energy. We might might as well instead of wasting it and going to sleep. It's really game changing to have uh, more hearts. So once you unlock the shrine, things get a lot easier. So all right, let's chop some wood. Oh yeah, I need to, to I need to make more bricks. Oh. So I've upgraded my axe recently and it's getting oh there's a sunflower. It's uh, getting quite big and strong. So let me pick up that sunflower. So same thing with the like the sunflower and all of these flowers. I'm guessing if you use the seed maker, uh, that's must be pretty uh, I'm guessing you can use them right to make seeds and then you can cultivate them by yourself I'd be down for nominal animal parade port yeah that would be int I've never had the chance to play animal parade so I would definitely be into that but I don't know if you know what game I'd really like to play again 
either a wonderful life or a magical melody like the two games that were on the gamecube i love them both so much i feel like a wonderful life was very different from other entries in the series and i don't know it was so unique and it was not perfect like there were things missing but overall i really liked it a lot and i wish i wish i hadn't sold my gamecube Okay, so let's make some lag. Let's make this, 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 and another one here. And do I have enough? Yeah, we can make some iron. All right, enough thread. So if you have grass, you can make some threads. But I haven't. Actually, because if you want to make clothes, you need threads and like wool and yarn and cloth and all of these uh, things. I haven't dived into that too much yet, so I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, maybe I should do that. And also you can make a pump to drain these uh, little ponds. So maybe we can try that. Actually, there's so many things I want to make. Uh, but oh basically I can make one now should I make oh no it's gonna take 10 bricks I want to keep my bricks but if you yeah you can drain these ponds and I'm not too sure what happens when you drain them hello sorry for my English I'm French but how are you oh no no worries I'm doing pretty good thank you so much we got 154 watching yes thank you so much guys for watching um, all right so we're gonna go to sleep and tomorrow's gonna be a busy day we're gonna go mining and after that um actually i want to finish something for victor for the city he said he wanted to put some benches and i have to give him some materials for that how long will this stream be today i think about the same as last time so between two to three hours yeah and i was really surprised because usually when i stream like once the stream is done nobody Nobody's watching right after it's done. The last time, the last stream we did, I think it's like at 5,000 views now. Like so many people are watching it even after it. So yeah, that's interesting. But so I'm not gonna go, oh, okay. Is it okay? So that's Nigel and he says, hey Josh, is it okay if I talk to you right now? Uh, there's something I wanna tell you. Mm, this is nothing bad. Okay in three days. Oh in three days. It is summer festival So actually they always come uh, sorry fireworks festival fireworks festival So they always come to three days earlier to tell you about the festival. I don't know why <laughs> so much in advance uh, So during the warm summer There's huge fireworks. This is so amazing, right? Yes uh, So it's in three days and we're waiting enthusiastically and we're looking forward to it yes I'm I am looking forward to it so maybe we're gonna get to see that event in the stream um, yeah so let's bring Mickey outside for a little walk and let's take care of our stuff and let's explore the new mine is there no mail system in this game? Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Actually, there's no mail so far. So they just come to you every time to tell you something. Which, yeah, it's interesting. But I think it, it works out pretty well so far. So I don't know at your birthday if usually like in Mineral Town, they would, you would get so much stuff in your mailbox. So I don't know how it's going to work here. So as you can see, I have my sprinklers. So I think, so this morning I woke up quite late but so i think the sprinklers are maybe just from seven to eight so that's why you can't see the oh i have oh sorry i have potatoes actually right here so i was looking for potatoes earlier so we're gonna be able to do that we're gonna make our little curry rice for daisuke and once you want when your farming skills go up, like you get more crops every time, right? 
Um, okay, so I'm gonna go buy more seeds as well. And I can't wait to have the golden watering can just so I can water like one, like the nine squares at once. How did you earn more hearts in your stamina? Yes, so I've explained that a little bit earlier, but um, once you have uh, 100 sprites, so when you do your farming activities, sometimes you'll get little sprites coming out of the ground. And uh, once you have 100, you can start praying uh, and it uses points and uh, then you get more stamina. So you get six extra hearts in total uh, from the shrine. All right, so that is good. It's uh, <laughs> too bad that the, your pets can't actually uh, go through the gate. At least they can cross bridges and they can go to town. So let's bring everybody outside. And usually, like, I still have one chicken. Okay, yeah. Like, they don't come out everybody at the same time. They don't come out, like, I have my sheep and my alpaca that are still missing. So I'm gonna have to come in and go out. Oh, 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 let me just... Okay, I'm gonna add food. If I forget before the end of the day, guys, remind me to give them some food. But if they're outside, they're fine. So they're gonna be eating whatever they can eat outside. The cap keeps getting stuck. I know. I'll did, uh, yeah. If you have clams in your box, and I think you get potatoes as a reward for the soup. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. So let's, okay, let's do this. bit of this all right so now what I'm gonna do uh, before we check the mine I want to do my recipes to give Daisuke how come one of your chicken is black and white so that's a actually a silk chicken and uh, their eggs are more valuable. Hey, May, how are you doing? Don't worry about being late. I'm glad you're here. And I need rice. And then I'm gonna make curry. Uh, probably mean this. Yes. And the spice and the potato. What do you think about this game so far compared to older Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons? I like it. I feel like it's quite different from the previous ones. I'm having a lot of fun so far. I know I feel like it's been kind of divisive. A lot of people didn't like too much, don't like it too much or are complaining about the loading times and things like that. But so far, I like it a lot. I feel like it feels different from previous Story of Season games. It feels like a mix between like Story of Seasons and like My Time at Porsche or Stardew Valley. Like, it really takes back inspiration from those games as well. So that it feels different. It feels different. I don't know <laughs> how else to say it. Um, but I'm happy with the game so far. That's what I can say. But I think after the first year, once I'm finished with the first year, I'm gonna be able to do a more kind of like in-depth review of the game and really be able to compare it. Oh, I don't have uh, enough space to get everything. Yeah, okay, that's okay. So I'm just gonna get rid of a little bit of stuff. When the English version, the English version, so the international release, the North American release is on March 23rd, and I think Europe is March 26th. 
Only found you yesterday and was halfway through your other live stream. Thank you. Can't wait for my copy to come on March 26th. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for <laughs> finding my channel. I hope I hope the content I put out helps you guys a little bit more in waiting. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna give these planks for the town job. And also if you come here, so that's a tip at the, especially if you're beginning, is it, it can take some time before you notice it. Uh, but these are kind of like achievements or trophies or like however you want to call them. And when you complete them, you get rewards. So these are all rewards I get. So I have a maker here. I think that's a mayonnaise maker. And these coins you can sell for money. Uh, and my, my bag is full, but yeah, it's good to come over here once in a while, like at least once a week and just collect all of your rewards. I'm someone who enjoys the grinding, so I'm super excited. Have you seen their plans for DLC? They are adding whole new areas to the game. Yeah, I haven't looked too much at the DLCs, to be honest. Because uh, I wasn't sure at first it was if I was going to get the DLCs or not, but I decided to get them because it was 10% off. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to them, and as soon as they come out, I will cover them as well. But I hope... Yeah, I hope it's not just outfits. I really want to see more like new content and like improvements. Um, all right. So now what's our plan? Okay, so let me just sell these coins. So these coins are really ju these medals just for selling. Uh, my clams, I can keep them. Okay, I'm going to sell some potatoes. Yeah, I'm gonna put stuff in my fridge. Huh, I'm really... <laughs> I really need to upgrade my house because now my fridge is full. And that's not good. You know, I, I have so many like different milks. I'm gonna sell these. Um, you know what? I can always get more fish later. I'm gonna do that. Put this here. All right, that's a little bit better. So we're gonna go back to Daisuke's house. Give the curry rice like this, like this. I'm just gonna sell everything. All right, so let's give our little dish. Do you speak some Japanese? Yes, so I've actually lived in Japan for two years, so but I haven't used it in such a long time, so I'm fine with reading. Yeah, but my speaking is <laughs> kind of very rusty. But yes, I do understand. Uh, how did you buy the game in Japanese? So to get the game, you need to change the region of your Nintendo account. And then you need to have either a Japanese credit card or a Japanese eShop card. So in my case, I bought a Japanese eShop card. Alright, like this. So we only have two requests left. So yeah, this one I need some crab. I don't know if I can find it, but let's see. I don't even know if I know these two recipes. Alright, so now I think we can go to the new mine, right? I think we're ready for that. Oh, let me just actually buy some seeds for my... Um, to replace my potatoes. You know what? We can just buy new potatoes. Um, you know what? I want to buy pumpkins. I feel like I should buy more seeds and kind of stock stuck up on them in advance but yeah oh I want to see to upgrade my house I want to see what I need exactly because I would like to do that today oh. not today in game but in today's stream so I need 30 hardwood planks 30 regular wood planks 30 iron ingot 30 silver ingots so 
It's a lot, but I think it might be achievable. Don't forget to feed your cow. Oh, thank you so yeah, yeah, thank you so much, Fiona. Yes, I'm gonna do that. I have to go to bed, but I hope that the stream keeps growing. Thank you so much. See you on the next one. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining. All right, so let's clean up our inventory. Let's get ready. Oh, I should have. Yeah, I'm gonna try to eat something for uh, before we go mining. Um, okay, okay. So let's plant our little pumpkins. Over here, like this. I hope your channel continues to grow. Oh, thank you so much, Aria Frost. It's been, it, ha it has never been growing that fast so far. Before Story of Seasons, we were at 1,200 subscribers almost, and now we're one, like 1,600. So I'm <laughs> so pleased. I couldn't ask for anything more, but yeah, that's pretty amazing so far. Um, okay, so we need 30 iron ingots. Actually, I have 16 here already. So let me try to see if there is more. And I'm going to need 30 silver ingots too, which is what's going to be most dem demanding. Pretty garden. Thank you. It is getting a little bit better. Oh, my cat is stuck, actually. Uh, <laughs> let me just get her out like this oh you know what it's fine she's gonna come back oh i need to take care yeah the footer i'm gonna forget my animals let me just get them some food uh where is it so it's in one of my boxes but i don't know which one okay right here i'm glad i found your channel so much awesome content oh thank you so much thank you so much all right, so let's go in here. All right, so this is so convenient that you no longer have to put every day. And also, uh, I just want to show you actually, their, I feel like their relationships with the animals go up so fast. So I'm already, like these animals are brand new, right? And they're already like, almost like the cow is maxed out and the others are gonna get there soon so i feel like that is pretty maybe too easy i don't know i liked how in the mineral town remake you really had to like you had to breed them in order to get the better versions so i kind of like that because that, that was a lot of work to like the, get the best animals but i don't know it's just different um, all right, so let's put everything. Oh, well, <laughs> okay. Um, okay, let's. Um, okay, I just want to keep. I want to put my wood here because it's near my maker. So let's do this. This, and I'm gonna put the other stuff. I want to keep my ingot here as well, and I want to keep my bricks here as well, and actually. I'd like to keep that here as well. Okay, and everything else I'm gonna put in the other box. And, okay, all right. What are your tool upgrades currently at? So, as you can see, the blue ones, the ones with the, like, silver blue is silver, and the black ones are still iron. So it's uh, basically, um, you start with wood, and then you get iron, and then you get silver, and then gold, and then diamond. And I don't know if there's anything else after that. So yeah, so far I'm like half silver, half half iron, half silver. So yay, we're gonna go mining in our new mine. So I'm looking, oh, you know what I want to do first? I just want to eat something and what I've seen is that depending on what you eat so I think it's if you eat soup your stamina will go down lower 
if you eat salad you'll get like extra hearts and if you eat main dish it just replenish a lot of energy so that's pretty interesting so maybe we can make a little mix salad so let's put one of these one of these little mushroom so it takes time but i think it's gonna be worth it because we're gonna be able to work a bit more and we can make a little yellow pottage some milk some potato hi round hey cheska how are you doing um how am i finding the villagers you know what so far so i feel like when you talk to them the dialogues are very bland especially like I, every time like before an event like three days before an event they just talk about the event and like after they just talk about the event as well and like it's very generic so and even outside of that i feel like their discussions are kind of bland uh but actually in the in the last days i've had the chance to get like cutscenes like see i just got two more hearts Oh, and now, okay, I lost one heart by eating my soup. Um, yeah, I feel like so far I'm very, uh, yeah, so, sorry, <laughs> I, I lost track of what I was saying. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> I completely forgot. Yeah, so the villagers, I feel like the just normal conversation are very generic, but I feel like there is a lot of cutscenes and like random events. So in the last days, I've had a lot of these. So these are more interesting. So I feel like it's still early to tell. And I'm guessing as your friendship goes higher, it's going to get better as well. Does it allow us to move the buildings around and add decor on the farm? Yes, you can add decor and move everything around except your house. Your house stays in the up right corner. And I think your house can get quite big. Because even your first upgrade, like the house right now that I have is quite big. But after that, the next one is called a small house. So I'm guessing after the small house, there's probably like a big house. So there's at least two more house upgrades. So yeah, you can see now that I've ate a soup. Uh, my hearts are kind of that like a golden tint almost. They're kind of like shiny a little bit and they go down slowly slowly more slowly so that's a good tip uh to know just before you go mining just eat some soup so actually you have more stamina so uh, we're getting gold already 13 gold so i think the first thing i'm gonna do with my gold uh yeah i wanna maybe oh oh so we have holes if you guys have played Manual Town, you know how these work. Oh, and the mole is actually different. It's <laughs> it has a little mohawk. It's a little different from the mole we saw on the second mine. I want to see if it gives you better stuff. Oh wow, it's a tough one. Oh wow, okay, it's a really really tough one. It ah, and every time it hits you, you really lose a lot of energy. Okay, that's tricky. Okay, let's. See. So we just have to wait until it comes out and then. Ah, that's <laughs> that's really tough actually uh, it better be worth it she better give me some diamond or something and we got a little bag with a little mystery item that we're gonna bring to Reina to inspect Do you know about Coral Island or have you heard of it before? Yes, I've heard about Coral Island and I'm really, really looking forward to it. This looks like an amazing game and I think it's so interesting to have a farming simulator in a tropical setting. I feel like that's not something we see a lot. So it's very, I don't know, I feel like it's going to be a very nice atmosphere. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it and I definitely want to cover it on my channel. So we didn't fall in any holes so far, we've been lucky. 
You know what? I feel like the moles. You know what? I'm gonna, not gonna spend too much energy on the moles. So if you guys don't know, so in the first mine there is actually ten floors, and in the second mine there's thirty floors. So in this one, I have the feeling it's gonna be fifty floors, but <laughs> that's just my feeling. It might be a hundred. I don't know. So now I'm just trying to find the ladder. Will you play Harvest Moon One World? So, at first, I have to be honest, um, I was really not too excited about One World and I wasn't planning to play it. Uh, but now, I don't know, I might, I might decide to play it and buy it. It comes out in two days. And uh, yeah, I might give it a shot. And now that my my YouTube channel is kind of like in a good momentum right now, so I feel like if I have the chance to cover a different game and yeah, I can try that and see how it goes. So yeah, I might do that. I, I might play One World. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I would, I would do like, sorry, <laughs> I would do like a first impressions video for sure. Uh, but I don't know if it's well, it's gonna depend if I like the game or not, right? I'm not gonna play a game that I don't like, but if I do enjoy it, I will definitely um, Make more content on it Ooh, we got an eel so I don't know if that's a special fish that you can only get in the mine because I've never gotten it before but so far, I have to say, I feel like there's a lot of fish that you can get no matter where. Like you can fish in the river or in the ocean and you're gonna get the same fish. So, but I feel like, I don't know. I'm not too sure yet of like what kind of fish you can get where. Thank you very much. Would you play it? Honestly, the game developer comes from my country. Oh, really? Where, where are they from? The developers of Coral Island. Yeah, I definitely am very interested in that game. I also want to play My Time at Sandrock. So these are two games like My Time at Sandrock and Coral Island that I'm really, really looking forward to. So there's actually a lot of lakes on this one. You know what? I'm going to get this one. Oh, what's happening? this so how much do we have we already have 29 and 36 silver so silver i feel like silver is already starting to get easier to gather than how it was before and i'm not getting so these are the big gray stones are silver stones but i'm not getting everything because i want to focus on i want to focus my energy on the gold mostly I wanna we didn't fall into any holes so far right <laughs> there were supposed to be some holes but I don't know I remember and oh maybe it depends on the level on the floor you're at because in mineral town I remember I just kept falling into holes and it allows you to go deep very quickly uh, but so far I haven't seen maybe it's after level 10 I don't know I'm so interested in Coral Island. They reached their goals. So they're gonna put it on the Switch too. Oh, really? That's nice. I'm probably gonna play it on PC. Usually, if there's a PC version, um, it's always I don't know. <laughs> if there's an option, I'll probably play on PC. But it's good that it comes out on the Switch too. Did you hear about Roots of Patch? It's like a Stardew Valley in the Stone Age. You know what? I feel like I've seen an advertisement for that game not long ago. Is it like a multiplayer focused? Yeah, I know I've seen an ad for kind of a multiplayer uh, farming sim not too long ago. Mm. I saw in someone else's video something about donating mushrooms to the museum. Have you done much else with your museum from the last stream? Oh. Is it already too? <laughs> I was w looking at my chat. Okay, so it seems like we passed out, but that was a pretty productive uh, mining session. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, the museum, you can give them the rare stuff. I, I didn't know you could give them mushrooms, actually. Can you really? Um, but yeah, that's, uh, so <laughs> it's already 10 a.m. Oh, and there's a storm today. Seems like we have a lot of people from Indonesia today. I'm so glad there's a lot of people from everybody. Uh, from everywhere But yeah, so when you go mining you really have to keep an eye on the time I'm used like in mineral town. You could just Stay in the mine for hours and hours because the time wouldn't pass right but Here the time just keeps going as you can see my crops are all fine even with the storm uh, Yeah, but that's definitely uh, something so this get some silver yeah so yeah you just need to keep an eye on the time that's my big weak point right now I always forget that so now we're gonna make some gold and hopefully we can upgrade our tools soon and some bricks so let me see I think we're almost reaching our goals with the bricks Oh my gosh, 175 people watching, guys. We're almost <laughs> to 200 um, bricks. How many bricks do I have? Okay, we're almost there. Let's take care of our little animals. Actually, Phoenix, I, I did <laughs> enjoy the breeding in Mineral Town. Oh, I, I need to give them some food. I like that it made it kind of harder to get good animals. I feel like this one, this time around, it's super easy to just get like maxed out animals. And there's no, like there's no cow festival, there's no sheep festival, there's no chicken festival. So I don't think there's any way to like get a very good version of your animal, if that makes sense. So I don't know, maybe there's going to be something else in the future. Why is the chicken blue? So that's the silk chicken. They're kind of black and white. Uh, okay, so I need to get food for my chicken. And in this one, the chicken are eating the same food as everybody else. All animals eat the same thing. So you don't have to think too much about that. So that's one good thing. Let me just put my eggs here. This one here, and this little brown egg here. Yeah, so the black and white chicken, the silk chicken, they lay brown eggs. And the brown eggs are more valuable, and they give you two mayonnaise instead of one. And I'm gonna make some yogurt as well. So I'm gonna go to town, because I think Victor is gonna... Uh, we did a project yesterday. So that should be done. And it's kind of annoying that so no matter your hammer, it always takes the same amount of time to get rid of these saplings. They are such a pain. All right, so now what's the plan? Okay, let's go to town. And oh my gosh, I have so much silver and yeah, okay, let's go to town and let's see from there. Yeah, there's no animal festival so far, unfortunately. I'm not good at English. I hope there is subtitle in this channel. Oh, I wish I wish I could put subtitles maybe later, but subtitles take such a long time to make. But yeah, maybe I should try to add more subtitles in the future. I really hope SOS doesn't go the same way as Parsha. That game was all grind and no substance. You know what? I kind of liked it, but there's no health system, only stamina. Yeah, there's only stamina so far. That's the only thing. Um, okay, so I didn't get any cutscenes. Oh, Daniel, thank you so much for the super sticker. Thank you so, so much. All of you guys are so amazing today. 
So yeah, there's no fatigue. It's just the hearts. I hope you will do a, a video on the Harvest Moon because I don't know if I'll buy it or not. Yeah, I think a lot of people are requesting uh, Harvest Moon One World, so we might do that. Um, I think. I think I'm maybe I'm not getting the cutscene because it's a thunderstorm. Because I, I just finished a task for Victor, but nothing's happening. So I'm guessing that's because of the storm. There's said to be 200 festivals. Okay, so I think that's a misunderstanding. Oh, so yeah, the these benches are upgraded. There used to be like very basic benches and now they're a little bit better. Um, so the 200 events are actually the referencing to the cutscenes. Like... The, the little cutscenes that you trigger with other villagers, they're not the actual events. For the actual events, there's um, the actual festivals, there's eight festivals, so it's two per season. I don't know if you can give these coins. Oh, yeah, you can. Maybe I should. <laughs> they're worth a lot of money. I think a uh, gold coin is a thousand bells. Sorry, a thousand G. Have you encountered any heart events? Not yet. I have encountered a few events with just random villagers, but as you can see, my relationships are not too high. Like I have one, I'm starting to get like one heart with some people. Um, well, with most people actually, I have like one, like not quite one heart. I like that you can actually see the progress. Like if you have like half a heart or you know, you can really see precisely. But yeah, <laughs> as you can tell, I don't have many friends so far, so it's fine. I'm focusing a lot. Like, I feel like the farming takes most of my days. And also since the time continues like to keep going when you're inside. Uh, like if you're meeting villagers and talking to them and like giving gifts, like time goes on, right? So uh, it is time consuming. To take care of the <laughs> villagers. Uh, so what are we gonna do now? I wanna put some stuff here. Oh, you know what we can do? I think one good thing to do would be to um, go to the museum. So I have this eel that I wanna give and I think I have a few uh, like treasures. So let me see, let me see which one. Okay, so I have this one here. So hopefully I have something valuable for the museum. And uh, one more here. Okay, so let's check what's in these bags. Who is the person you will marry? I'm not sure yet. Actually, I'm still <laughs> debating debating about that. 170 watching. <laughs> yeah, we're actually at 180 now. Thank you so much, guys. Also, if you're looking for... There's not too many people covering this game, right? But I've been watching the videos of Milky. I don't know if you guys know her, but she's playing the Hong Kong version of the game. And she's also putting out videos pretty regularly, like pretty much every day. So yeah, if you guys are looking for other content creators for this game, but yeah, uh, okay, let's go to the museum. But yeah, there's not too many people covering the game so far. So I want to put out as much content as I can. So let's see what we've got in these bags. So usually in these ones, there's nothing very valuable. So we got a pearl. Okay, so I think the pearls can be used for crafting later. But pretty much I just sell them. Yeah. It's been fun watching Judge play Sort of Season. I'm putting my pre-order soon. Oh, I've seen... <laughs> I've seen a lot of people here saying they're already pre-ordering the game. And then if you take a look at Twitter or Reddit, it's full of people saying they've canceled their pre-orders. So I feel like the game is so, <laughs> so divisive. So many people uh, 
like the game and some so many people are really kind of scared yeah you know me I know well I don't know her personally I've never interacted with her but I've been uh, watching her videos even when she was playing uh, Mineral Town Oh, Grim Watcher, <laughs> congrats on your 5 star island. Are your chests dedicated to certain types of item? Uh, actually, at the moment, no. But I want them to, so <laughs> I, I, I need to organize them better because it's really, really messy for now. Um, I think this popped out on my recommendation because I watched a lot of Milky's video. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad that her videos are bringing you to be as well. That's good to hear. Uh, okay, wait, maybe I have a fish to my eel. Uh, do I have any new pictures? I don't think so. Have you guys seen that? The other day, my alpha cat was completely in the water. Uh, okay, fish, yeah, some eel. And... I feel like <laughs> the appearance of the museum is a little bit disappointing, especially like for the fish because you can't really see them clearly, you can't really tell which one is which. So I don't, I don't know, like in like in Animal Crossing, I would like, I like to just always go to the museum and see how it looks like. But I feel like in this one, I just give what I have to give, but I never come to the museum just to watch things. Um, Maybe I have to go in the city hall to trigger... Oh no, we have already came here today. Yeah, I think when it's sunny, it's gonna trigger the event for Victor. Mm -hmm. He's talking about the fireworks festival. We were spoiled by the ACNH museum, yes. I pre-ordered the deluxe version. I was a bit worried as there is no portrait, but still I hope the dev will have other updates yeah I know they said well there's gonna be DL DLC uh, but they also said they want to just like improve the game and like fix bugs and like do some little improvements so if we can get like portraits and maybe something for the makers like some kind of building you can put the makers in or like you can make multiple things at once, you know, just like little improvements like this would be good. Uh, okay, so now let's go back to making bricks. Oh, actually, my clay is in another one. So maybe we're going to be able to fix the silo today. That would be pretty nice if we could do that. Uh, this one is nice. I'm gonna sell it. I have yogurt here. Actually, you can put the food in the fridge, but you can also just put the food in the box. Um, which is not something <laughs> you can do usually in Story of Seasons. You have to put the food in the fridge. But in this one, you can put it anywhere. But if you want to cook, if it's in the fridge, you're gonna have access to your fridge inventory everywhere you cook. So that's more convenient. Oh, so I don't have any wood on me. Do I have wood here? Okay, let's do so I need 30 regular planks so let's work on our regular planks a little bit so I need 30 planks 30 silver I need 20 rocks I need 30 hardwood planks as well so there's really a lot of things that we have to collect okay I'm gonna sell my stuff and after that I think I'm gonna go mining a little bit again. Yeah, I think that's a good point, Abiel. Like to have portraits for just regular conversations, but not in cutscenes. And uh, I feel like in cutscenes, um, like in cutscenes, you can see pretty clearly, right? So it's not that necessary. But definitely, I feel like in the regular dialogues, that would be better. Also, you can. You can like put the camera closer like this, but it. I wish you could just like move it and put it behind your character and like play in like third person. But it always just stays like this. So, 
Yeah, it's not very convenient to play like this because you can't really put it like behind the character. So. Yeah. All right, so let's maybe let's just clean up this area. And I think actually I thought there was gonna be other areas, but I think these are the only three areas that you get for your farm. So I don't think there's. I think there's other areas that you can unlock uh, throughout the game because there's a mountain area uh, in the town that is blocked off. But for your actual farm, I think these are the only like three parts. Well, it's, I feel like it's fine because it's already quite big. But one thing I'm wondering though is because in every area there's a different type of grass and different type of tree that grows. So I'm just wondering if I have one area that is fully decorated. I'm not gonna have any space for that specific type of tree to grow, right? So I'm thinking in every area you should leave a little bit of space to have some trees and uh, nature stuff to spawn. I found the trailers you could play in the first person. No, you can't. You can just like bring it down here. Unless maybe it was a cutscene or something. But I really don't think there's a way. Yeah, you can only have one shipping bin and you cannot move it. So, yeah. But I, I feel like it. it's fine. It's not in the way or anything. But yeah, you can't move your shipping bin, and you can't make another one. All right, I'm gonna go see if my uh, gold ingots are ready, and maybe tomorrow we can upgrade one of our tools. And so build a silo and upgrade a tool. Right. Okay, I'm gonna pass out soon. Alright, so let's go check how our makers are doing. Right, let me just get some iron here. Alright, so our gold is ready, so that's good. So I have three also it costs twenty K for the uh, next tools. Oh, where's my gold? Where's my gold? See, I need to be <laughs> more organized because my plan was to put all of my minerals, all of my ores and my wood in that chest, but I sometimes I'm lazy and I put them somewhere else and now I have no idea where's my gold. Okay, so there it is. Oops. Gold, silver. Okay, I'm gonna take all of my ores, all of my wood, put them all at the same place. White or pearl? Actually, I don't even know what it's for. Okay, like this, and then yeah, you know what? Okay, that's good. I'm so happy to watch you live. I've been watching your previous videos and loving it so far. Oh, thank you so much. Does your stamina go down faster in the storm? I don't think it does. But I didn't start the day with full energy. Though, because I passed out the previous day. So maybe that's why it went down pretty fast today. But I don't think it goes down faster because of the storm though. You know what? Actually, I think the regular planks, you can just buy them. So I might do that. And I'm going to do the hardwood planks rather. Yeah. So I need 30 hardwood planks. So let's do some hardwood. By the way, guys, thank you so, so much to everybody who's watching. I hope you're enjoying so far. Feel free to subscribe if that's not already done. I'm trying to put out content every day or almost every day for a story of seasons and I know I've seen a few comments lately so <laughs> my last video was a bit short 
and um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to make future videos maybe a little bit longer so you guys can see more of the game. You really need to sort your chest. Yeah, you know what? Maybe, maybe that's what we can do tomorrow. We're gonna make a chest sorting day. Yeah, there's no fertilizer, so if you want to increase the quality of your crops, you have to go to the shrine and pay using your Kodopon points. And, um, yeah, and then it increases the quality of your crops, and also it goes with your uh, farming skills. But, yeah, there's no fertilizers. I'm thinking we might get a cutscene. No, okay. Sometimes when the loading screen is uh, longer, I feel like I always think there's gonna be a cutscene, but it's not. <laughs> that's not necessarily the case. So I don't have to take care of my garden today, which is nice. So many puddles, so messy. Um. Okay. Yeah, I just remembered I actually have a mushroom thing here, but I need to plant mushroom seeds. Uh, well, not seeds, but I'm not sure how they're called in English, but like mushrooms starts um okay let's take care of our makers see you can see my little sprinklers i want to see at what time i want to see if it stops at eight uh if it stops at i want to see if it stops at seven or if it stops at eight Oh, okay, so I think it stops at 8 because it's still running. Spores, maybe. Yeah, spores is the right word. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, the mushroom spores. Alright, so once that go... How much time does it... 6 hours for one in gut. So the higher, like 2 hours for iron, 4 hours for silver. So yeah, the higher the material, the higher uh, higher time it takes, more time it takes. Like this, and now with our bricks, okay, so we should be good to have our 20 bricks today. Seems like the controls are a bit unruly. Yeah, sometimes it actually can be it can be a bit hard to aim sometimes for some reason. You get used to it, but it... I don't know. It, I feel like it's not as accurate as in Mineral Town. But it's not too bad. And I feel like, I think the alpaca take a lot longer to make wool compared to the sheep. Did you ever figure out what that big blue building is for? Yes, yeah, so that's actually a hydroponics thing. Uh, actually, I'm not too sure how it works uh, once you go inside and what you can do with it. But I'm thinking it's gonna be kind of like a greenhouse and it waters your crops automatically every day. So that's my guess, but I didn't look it up. I'm gonna, I wanna keep the surprise. Uh, I'm not too sure, honestly, I'm not too, too sure. The makers are giving me anxiety. I hope they updated to take stacks. Yeah, I hope so. They are a lot of work. They really are. Um, all right, so let's do this, this, and some yogurt. And okay, so now what should we do? So we just need two more bricks. Okay, so maybe we can start cleaning up. Okay, I want to go to town actually. I want to see uh, if there's the cutscene for the benches. Maybe there's not going to be any cutscene because it's just benches, but I want to see. Are you enjoying Olive Town more than Mineral Town? That's kind of... I don't know, that's a tough question actually. 
they're both very different, but I feel like in Olive Town there's a lot more to do. Sometimes in Manual Town I would find myself going to sleep very early because I didn't know what to do with the rest of my day. But here I feel like I could stay awake until 2 a.m. every day and I wouldn't be bored. <laughs> At least the Mayo Maker is cute. Yeah, it is cute. Uh, okay, so this is Jacopo. Hey, Josh. The town has become quite lively. Yes. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. This is because you uh, build, you came here and build your farm. Do you remember we told you that a long time ago your grandpa came to this town to develop it, right? And at this time... Uh, okay, I'm not too sure your grandpa talked about you or something. Uh, okay, I'm not too sure, but that was... Oh, okay. Uh, another... Okay, wait. Uh... I'm not too... <laughs> Sorry, so I tried to... Oh, so there's a boat coming. Sometimes it requires a lot of, like, brain <laughs> power to read. Uh, so, yeah. Uh... coming yeah I'm playing in normal mode and yeah there's no crop festival and I don't think there's any upgrade for the uh, makers cow why is there a cow mm. my name is rush oh what <laughs> the cow is talking Oh, I'm wearing the cow costume. Oh, because earlier they were talking about, like in the previous cutscene, like a few days ago, they were talking about they wanted a mascot for the town. And so this is Rush in the cow costume. And then, okay. So, yeah, I know they were looking for a mascot to uh, improve, to make the town more fun. And they asked if we wanted a cow mascot or dolphin mascot, but I guess it doesn't matter. Because uh, I picked dolphin, but <laughs> we didn't get any dolphin mascot. But yeah, so as you can see, there's a kind of a little plot <laughs> storyline to try to make the town more lively. The cows are really massive <laughs> in this game when compared to your characters. Yeah, they really are. Um, okay, you know what? Let's see if I have enough points to improve my soil. No, not yet. Ah, I need 40. So actually you can't uh, befriend her. She just stays around here and you you can't increase your friendship points. But I'm curious if uh, to see what's going to happen in the future. Let's see how Yuri's doing. Oh, well, he's talking about the festival. Oh, so actually when is the... Fireworks Festival. Oh, that is uh, tomorrow, right? The 22nd. Yeah, so tomorrow is going to be the Fireworks Festival.
I have to go, but I enjoyed this stream. Alright, thank you so much for uh, joining. Is there a main quest line in this game or it's like an overarching story? Um, I feel like it's more... I would say it's like a main quest because Victor always asks you to uh, fulfill kind of quests and like give him, uh, give him things to build stuff uh, and improve the town and get more tourists and you can see also like here you can see uh, I had 138 tourists come to my town so that's really one of the goal is to have as many tourists as possible so yeah I'm not too sure how many you have <laughs> how many tourists you have to get but yeah there's kind of a main plot I guess with some quests I think a wonderful live animal parade. <laughs> uh, the cutest, the bubble cows reminds me of cute hamsters. You know what? I really like the bubble cows actually. Um, and so last stream we had the uh, clothing store, beauty salon, and now we also have the aesthetician. So if you come here, you can actually change your face. You can change your skin color. You can change your eyes. So everything that you uh, didn't you can even change your voice and the motion like you can change everything again so if you mess up in your character creation you can change pretty much everything again so if this was answered will this release on steam eventually like friends of mineral town i know that so far they have not announced any uh steam version but who knows, it might come later. They did it with Mineral Town, so maybe, maybe eventually. I hope so, because I know a lot of people would like to play it on Steam. And maybe on PC, the game would perform better and have better loading times and all of that. So, yeah. 26 days for France release. I feel so frustrated. Yeah, I know. It's such a long time for Europe. Like, I feel like usually nowadays games with most of the time they release in Europe in the same time as North America but for some reason this one is really <laughs> so many different release dates depending on where you are okay so let's take a look at our bricks I think we should be good now we should be okay to repair the silo maybe we can't wait think yeah so we have 19 so we just need one brick okay so in the meantime what I would like to do okay let's take care of this 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 oh, actually I want to do hardwood this one All right, so I want to clean up my things a little bit. Um, so what I want to have here is all the wood and all the rocks. So everything that's rock, everything that's mining wood, I'm gonna put it here. And everything that's like plants, uh, you know, I think the jewelry, I can keep it here. I this is actually the mortar, mortar and clay, I want to keep there. So, yeah, all of the things that I put in my makers, yeah, that's going to be there. And next, so that's one chest. And... I wonder what the pioneer element means. I mean, you kind of, yeah. I mean, you're not such a pioneer, cause, but you're kind of reviving the town, right? So, yeah. But I wish you could actually customize the town like in uh, 
a new beginning if you guys have played this one you could actually move all of the buildings in the town and really customize it to your liking that's one thing i because you kind of get involved in the town but not directly right um okay so here maybe I, here i could have everything that's like uh plants or yeah everything that's kind of like plant maybe these um this is salt i think i can put in my fridge um okay maybe i should make a box for my animal produce and uh, okay i can leave my furniture here okay i I need, okay, I'm gonna make a box with like wool and herbs and everything to yeah, okay, you know what and over here How much longer are you planning to play today? Uh, probably Now we're at one hour and a half probably another hour and a half we're gonna play until like three hours or something like that. Um, I'm not too sure how to how to do this now. Um, okay, you know what? I think. Do I have? Okay, let me. Let me just stack everything that I can stack. And I think I'm gonna move one near my barn. Okay, let's take this sorry it's gonna be a mess here so if you leave stuff on the next day they will disappear so don't do that make sure you pick up everything on the same day uh where's my chest oh i think it's actually dropped uh okay wait let me put this here this 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 One chest for seeds. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe I could put my seeds here. Usually, I don't have that many seeds, but yeah, let's take the chest and like my fruits and stuff. Yeah, definitely uh, the one near my garden. But I think what I'd like to have, because I want to start making cloth and things like that, and yarn and all of these. So I think over here. Um, I don't know. <laughs> they take so much space, right? It's such a small chest. Okay, I'm gonna put it here in the meantime. So I'm gonna put these herbs because. So actually, with these, you can make. I'm just gonna show you, but you can make thread, right? So that's gonna be my kind of the sewing and yarn making and all of that. Okay, all right. And also, I wish you could actually place stuff. I wish you could place an item box in your house, but you actually can't, which is such a shame. Because I would like to, like, place my furniture like in my house, but I can't. Um. Okay, so I have some seeds. Um, let's do actually okay let's put let's put seeds here so that's gonna be for my garden I have let's put also like melons and like things that I could use to make seeds eventually uh, the sugar cane I'm gonna leave it here this is oregano um, I think that's good and okay let's put all of my oregano with the oregano so it's gonna be food kind of food and seeds in this one and this one is pepper so salt and pepper is gonna be there so it's gonna be kind of like my salt my pepper um another for animal products yeah i don't well i don't have too many boxes 
and they take a lot of space but yeah i'm gonna try to organize as much as i can without using too many boxes um you can make different color chests to help you remember what is in them yes you can actually um as you can see there, there's some color so you can paint stuff uh but you have to make the color maker and i i didn't get into that yet but yeah there's some furniture you can change the color But yeah, thank you guys for the suggestions. Um, okay, so let's see if there's some... Okay, so let's go back to our cloth and yarn box and put some grass in there. Um, now like this. Is there only one size for the boxes or you can craft a larger one? So for now, there's only one size, which is <laughs> quite small. So hopefully there's going to be more in the future, but that's it for now. Um, mm -mm. I think flowers. different flowers I can put there and okay I want to put my pineapple my wild berry there as well okay maybe okay, I'm gonna make something for furniture so maybe in this one Oh, I still have some seeds. And okay, so in this one, I want to put furniture. So let's put fences, chair, rug, this screen, fence. Oh, okay, all right, we're almost done, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but we are almost done with this. Some seeds here, some tulip seeds. This, some wild berries. And I think the white box is gonna be my miscellaneous. So just everything else I'm gonna put in there. But at least it's gonna be a little bit more organized. And okay, so, all right, so here we've got our rocks. And everything else, I think. I think everything else could go in my miscellaneous. Yeah, all right. I saw seeds in one of the boxes, really? Hopefully the silkworms are back so we can make clothing. I don't think they are. You can make clothing uh, with these well you don't make them directly but you bring them to this beauty salon uh, but yeah all right you got them okay all right that's good so let's put this here oh maybe I can put this in my rocks okay I have some furniture here actually some rocks oh I have seeds here Furniture, this, okay, so furniture is here. Thank you guys for <laughs> giving me the motivation to actually do this and organize my things a little bit. It's not perfectly organized, but okay, let me see. Okay, let me take my food. I want to see if there's anything I have already in my fridge that... I can stack I'm not too sure let, let me see if there's anything I can stack in there and hopefully save some space I'm half grateful that the Japanese release was earlier than Europe because now I can watch this while waiting for my own copy but also half jealous yeah I know it's hard to it's good because you can get a taste of the game and you can you can get an idea of the game but yeah Mm, all right so we've got this all right so i should be able to put my seeds back and it's already 3 p.m 
Um, yeah. Personally, I'll put it. I'd put flowers in your miscellaneous bus so you have more rooms for seeds and such. Yeah, I think that's a good idea actually. Like, yeah, that's true. Seeds, uh, pepper, seeds. This, this, this. All right, guys, almost done, almost done. So miscellaneous, let's put some flowers. So I keep the flowers mostly just for gifts. All right, one more trip to the other side. And here, we put this and this. All right, so <laughs> it's a lot better. Can you guys guess how long it's gonna stay organized like this? I feel like probably not that long. So it got here. So I'm not too sure what type of wood I'm gonna need to upgrade my golden tools. I don't know if it's hardwood or just regular wood. So I'm gonna go with both. And let's upgrade one of our tools. I think the gold watering can would be good. I feel like the most important tools to upgrade first are the watering can and then the hammer and axe because they make re gathering resources so much faster. Um, but maybe I should do watering can. If you, if you guys have any idea which tool I should upgrade first, let me know. Why don't you plant your fruit tree saplings? That's a good question. So I didn't plant them because uh, they're quite expensive and you can't move them. And I wasn't sure where I was going to put them. So before I start planting trees, I really want to make sure Oh, I'm not in the right shop. Um, yeah, before I start planting trees, I really want to make sure that I know where I want to have my orchard and where things are gonna go and where everything is gonna be and after that once i know that i'm gonna plant my trees uh yeah because you can't it's not like an animal crossing where you can just pick up your trees and move them yeah the r and l button in the fridge are if you have um you i guess if you have multiple fridge or maybe you're gonna have bigger fridges but for now there's just nothing Oh, you need 10. Oh my gosh. Okay. You need 10 iron ingots and hardwood. You know what? Maybe we can upgrade this one to silver. No, I need silver to make a bigger house. Actually, I don't need like I don't need to upgrade this so soon. Um, okay. So, if I want to Okay. Okay, I don't need wood for the watering can. I just need two more ingots. That's a lot. Okay, so Let's keep making gold ingots. Did you get your bike back? No. Did you get a horse yet? Not yet. I have to repair the stable. Have you figured out how to have a baby chicken? Uh, yeah. So to have babies, you have to come here. You have to reach, I think, level five or six in animal caretaking. And then you come here, but uh, you need a big chicken coop. So I don't have that for now. Is there no incubator? So far, there's no incubator. The only way is to go to the animal store and ask them to breed. But it's kind of expensive to get the big chicken coop. So yeah, I'm not going to do that right away. I want to repair. I feel like I want to repair everything first. I want to have everything, and after that, I'm gonna expand everything. But yeah, it's sad that I only have like one of each animal. All right, so let's put some more gold. Oh, I don't have any more gold. Oh, okay. So let's do some silver ingots, I guess. All right, and so we should have all of our bricks now, right? 
if I'm not wrong, we should have. Oops, we should have. It's so much cleaner, so much more <laughs> enjoyable actually. After I've cleaned up my storage, and I'm not too sure. Was it the hardwood that they needed? Oh no, they needed ten ingots. Yeah, ten silver and. 20 bricks so we're gonna go and repair the silo I don't know if it's gonna be an instant thing I don't know if it's something that we can move I'm guessing we can but we're gonna take a look at that so here it is yes yeah, so it is instant so let's see how it looks like we have a cute silo All right, so if you put, yeah, so I think you can put up to 40 fodder. So we can grab this. It's kind of weird that you need so much silver to build a silo, but you don't need any wood. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Actually, you need bricks and silver, but there's no bricks. Oh, maybe it's bricks. I I'm not sure. Uh, maybe the roof is silver. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna put this so I'm gonna have to move these actually I want to put these against the wall against like hmm. mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm not sure where I'm gonna maybe I could put Them Here, I don't know if they would fit. You know what? Okay, let's try to make something nice. I Wish there was a rooster to fertilize yeah that would be nice it's kind of weird <laughs> it's kind of odd that there's no uh, incubator I'm so used to that have you cleared that muddy pond thing across the bridge no I have not yet so you need to buy you need to make drainers like pumps but they take five uh, gold ingots each so they're quite uh, demanding in resources so I haven't done that yet because I just started unlocking the gold All right, like this so hopefully that's gonna be enough space Alright, let's see. Let's see how that looks. Also, I don't know how big they're gonna get when you upgrade them. So, I think I'm gonna start with the silo, maybe, actually. So, if I put... Yeah, because there's the mountain, so you can't, like... Let's put the silo here. And, like, the barn here and the little chicken coop here. I don't know if I can fit everything. My barn and coop, I would put them on both sides of the little lake next to the path. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm... Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this third part. Yeah, on both sides of the lake. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe I could put them at the back here. But I feel like that's very far to take care of your animals. I feel like here, like, I feel like this whole third area would probably have more like fruit trees or like beehives or things that you don't need to go every day. Otherwise, it's going to take a long time. Can you move your house? No, you can't move your house. Uh, yeah, you can't move your house. So I don't think the large chicken coop has an incubator because you unlock the incubator when uh, you you need the chicken coop to breed. I mean, so I really don't think there's gonna be an incubator in it. Um, okay. So this one was just called Animal House. So boring, but. And the other one is Chicken House. If you guys have more original ideas, feel free to let me know. 
if anybody wants to name one of my buildings next the the second the one mm. are there any woodland areas to explore is it just your town and farm so far it's just your town and farm so i'm hoping but there's a blocked off area on the hills so i think there's gonna be more eventually uh but i'm really not too sure yeah i'm hoping there's a woodland area that you unlock later especially like if your farm is super busy and after that you're not gonna have any space for trees to grow right so i hope there's a natural area stash all your makers in third parts um yeah maybe i could put my makers in the third part of the island that's that's a good point actually that's something i could do you should clear the area we're replacing your barns to get a clear view yeah i am clearing the area but it's just um well it's pretty cleared up right now but um it, it just grows up so quickly so i need to actually put down some paths because it just grows oh everything grows wild so quickly so fast oh, okay so let's reassign them to their little house and i'm gonna have to put the folder back as well Yeah, I'm sure I yeah, I'm sure there's a mountain area, but we just have yet to I, I'm, I'm gonna show you later if we go to town. There's a blocked off area. So I'm guessing Maybe there's gonna be a foraging area, but if not like on your farm, there's always gonna be Forageable items that you can get Grow grass near the fence and it's like a cute little field yeah that would be a good idea actually that's something i might do but i'm feeling like i will i will probably move them because when they get when the buildings get bigger i'll probably move them around so i don't want to oops um i don't want to decorate it too much because i know i will move them again so if i spend too much time making them pretty And then I have to move them. It's not so good. Also, there's yeah. This is the the farm is just so huge, right? So much space. I'm not sure. Like, I'm definitely not gonna plant that many crops. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with all of that space. So all right. So I just want to get some fodder, and I'm gonna put it in my silo actually. Don't forget to transfer your folder from your... Yeah, exactly what I'm doing. Alright, so let's fill this up first. So yeah, I'm not sure of my makers where I want them. And as you can see, like I think two days ago we didn't have any trees here and now they just grow like crazy. Can you place fence diagonally? No, you can't unfortunately. Oh, alright, <laughs> already midnight, so let's just go to sleep. 
I feel like our day has been so busy. We've done a lot. We've reorganized our chests and did quite a bit. So that was pretty, pretty productive. So let's see how much we make. 1,600. That's pretty good. All right. Next day, now we have a full energy. <laughs> I'm not sure about naming my barn Gudon. That sounds <laughs> kind of morbid. All right. Do you stream on Twitch? No, I don't stream on Twitch. Twitch only on YouTube uh, I don't want to start I feel like building a community on just one place is hard enough I don't I don't know if I would be able to do it on two different places so I only stream on YouTube it's easier to find things now isn't it yeah it is a lot easier it is a lot easier so we got our little pepper and our pumpkins are almost ready, I think. Oh, so today's the fireworks festival. Uh, name the chicken coop KFC. Oh my gosh, why you guys want me to name all of my animals food? You guys are so cruel. Okay, so let's water this. Um, I wish I had, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna leave my crops like this for now. I'm gonna try to go mining today, get the iron and gut, and then I'm gonna be able to, um, just gonna put this away. I'm gonna get the golden watering can today. That's my goal. If you empty the small ponds, uh, they vanish or refill over time. If they refill, can you remove them? So they vanish the next day, but they come back eventually. But yeah, if you want to get rid of them, uh, basically you can. And the big ponds, I think they will vanish too. Like you get a treasure, a big treasure and they vanish too. Um, yeah, so yeah, but they, they will respawn in different places. Always my first name, my first chicken nugget. I think chicken nugget is cute though. <laughs> it's it's kind of cute. Maybe you can name them after animal sounds in Japanese. Maybe that'll be good too. I'm so I'm always so boring when it comes to my animal names as well. I named my animals from AC Villagers. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. There's plenty of chicken villagers and cow villagers and sheep. It's just there's no alpacas, but yeah, I could. <laughs> I get. I guess I could do that. Uh, okay, so I'm used. Okay, so this is here now. Let's do this. This. And this and let's see if there's anything to put here like this 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 and this 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 oh i need to put in my silo right okay let me just sell my pepper yeah if you guys don't know which one you want between one world and this one I feel like maybe I'm biased because I'm a huge Star of Seasons fan and the new Harvest Moon series is... <laughs> I don't know. The previous Harvest Moons were not that good, but I'm going to try One World. So if you guys are hesitant, hopefully I can help you make your choice. So far, I really like Olive Town. But yeah, I'm going to give One World a try and we're going to see how it goes. I'm gonna get these little 
mushrooms and after that uh, yeah let's fill up our silo that's what I wanted to do for a long time okay all right and then let's go mining I think we're ready to go mining now I like to see gameplay for everything myself because I won't be home when my copy arrives yeah I will do that I'll probably buy the digital version as much as I always prefer to have my game physical but if I want to get release something on the release date it's always better to get digital I found up on the first day all right let's get these two did you buy the DLC yes I bought it it was 10% off so yeah I just bought everything yeah I think some of the ideas for one world are interesting but it's just graphically I know it's not that good but maybe maybe it's fun right we have to try it and if anything yeah it could be a good way for you guys to if you if you need a game uh, until you wait for Olive Town maybe that could be a good one So I'm hoping I can, oops, <laughs> wrong, wrong tool. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to get a lot of gold today. And so at least, so I need to keep a look at the time. I don't want to stay here until 2 p.m., 2 a.m. like last time. Uh, maybe I can stay until four or five. You know what, actually? I'm not gonna. It, it takes six hours to make my iron ingot, so the shop is gonna be closed. Yeah, I'm not gonna have, be able to have my watering can today, actually, because I need to melt my ore. So what I could do, I'm gonna stay until maybe six or seven, and after that, I'm gonna. Uh, water my crops with my silver watering can for the last time and tomorrow morning I can upgrade my tool how do you make the difference between the stones uh, their colors are different so this one their kind of brown one is iron the small one is just rock and the big one is the big gray one is silver so this is rock this is iron and this big two are silver so <laughs> I know at first it can be a little bit confusing they all look kind of similar but they're actually all different but yeah definitely when I first started playing I thought it was just random but they're not random And the ladder cannot spawn like on the on the edge so like there will never be a ladder here so when I'm looking for the ladder I just hit the ones that are like in the middle oh and this one I'm stuck but sometimes you don't even have to look for the ladder let's try I don't know what and if you hit in the and there's nothing it you won't waste any energy so that's good if you don't hit if you don't hit anything you don't use any of your stamina so I'm looking for gold but actually there's not too too much maybe deeper oh yeah there is oh and there's a hole so let's try to jump in the hole and see how that goes so we're now on floor nine so let's see if we go deeper are you guys ready 
So nine. Ooh, ouch! That really hurt. Oh, ah. Okay. Um. <laughs> so it took way more of my stamina than I thought. So I'm not gonna go deeper than that, unfortunately. Um. Okay. I'm gonna go home because I have to water. Let's go to floor 20. See if there's anything special on floor 20. Oh. Okay. Let, let's take these. Uh. Mm -hmm. But after that, I really, really have to go home. Oh, actually, I have. A little dish. I have some egg. Let's see how good is that. Oh, that's pretty good actually. How many levels there is? Um, I'm not too sure actually. So on the first mine there's ten levels. On the second mine there's thirty. And this one I'm guessing fifty, but honestly I don't know. All right, so we got Ruby and we got this. So as much as I want to continue. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Ah, there's so much interesting stuff now all of a sudden. But oh my gosh, did you guess how many moles are there? there's like three, four, three or four. There's really a lot of these. So I'm just going to get that gold here and I'm going to get the blue thing as well and after that I really have to go take care of my crops I didn't water them all of these moles are <laughs> like there's no fighting there's no battles in this game but it almost feels like uh, that like you have to avoid these moles so hopefully we're gonna have enough stamina to take care of our crops Ooh, 190 people guys thank you so much for watching if you guys just joined welcome and yeah if you have any questions about the game feel free to ask if you're not subscribed feel free to do that i try to post daily content on this game and yeah we're gonna reach 200 people soon i think that's gonna be a first not i think definitely that's gonna be a first for this channel so thank you so so much um all right so now let's take care of our little crops i think i'm gonna have to maybe go eat something okay let's just do this okay and let's oh, let's take this quickly okay and now i want to make hard planks All right, make some bricks. To, oh, I don't have it on me. Yep, make some bricks. All right, so let's put this. So this is sapphire, 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 and um, this gold and this. And that box is already full, so I'm gonna need another mining box. Okay, all right, so we don't have too much time. Let's cook something quickly, just so I have a little bit of energy to water my crops. Are you from Japan? No, I'm from Canada. What is the face underneath your heart? It just means that I'm full. Oh, so actually I don't even know. Um, I'm gonna cook main dish, it gives you more hearts. Uh, there's nothing I can cook. Um, yeah, basically, uh, it just means you're full, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to eat. Oh, but it's uh, flat. Oh, I'm no longer full, so I, I will be able to eat now. Okay, so I think maybe that's going to be enough to water my crops. I'm not sure. You can make a chest to separate wood and minerals. Yeah, that's a good point. Alright, so I just have three hearts, but they will go down more slowly, so let's see, maybe, maybe we're gonna be fine. And this is my last day using my silver watering can. Tomorrow morning we're gonna upgrade that. I'm also, maybe I can upgrade my sickle. 
Maybe I can uh, get the silver one. Or maybe my bucket. You know what? I think. And when you upgrade your tools in this one, it's instant. It's not like in Mineral Town where you had to wait like sometimes like three days for your tool to be ready. So it's really, really e Oh. I thought I would have been fine and... Yeah, unfortunately, I should have <laughs> I should have went to the restaurant. Maybe take the pearls and rings out of the box. Yeah, uh, I can put them in my miscellaneous, I guess. Uh, all right, so what we're gonna do... So today's raining. <laughs> I wish it was raining the day before. But yeah, oh 200! Yay, thank you so much guys, 200! We're reaching new highs. So, alright, so of course today is raining. Let's see if anything is ready. No, not yet. Also, the sprinklers go on even if it's raining actually. Okay, so today is a Monday. I'm not sure if the blacksmith is actually open today. I think it is. Okay, all right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna, oh gosh, I need to clean up. Okay, I'm gonna take wood, I'm gonna take silver, I'm gonna take my gold. Can you make more sprinklers? I can make more sprinklers, but they're kind of expensive. I mean, you need three silvers, uh, five silvers, sorry, three silvers, five in guts. So yes, I can make more, but they're a bit, like I wanna keep, I only have 15 silver. So I wanna keep my silver for repairing, uh, upgrading my house and doing other things before I start just building, making sprinklers, right? So it's just not my priority. Greetings from Switzerland. Oh, thank you so much, Black Eyed KG. So glad to see people from all around the world today. All right, let's put this away. So I'm gonna take out my gold, my planks, and okay, I think we're good with that. And now let's take care of our animal. As you can see, this grows so fast. They spawn so fast. I mean, what's the max those makers machine can make at one time? They, are, they can only make one at a time. Unless, yeah. The only thing I've noticed is like. The brown eggs can make two mayonnaise at a time, but most of the time, like, there's no way so far to upgrade the makers or anything like that, so it's really just one, one by one. Upgrade our watering can for tomorrow. Oh, let's make mayonnaise. And maybe after that, we can um, really get focused on upgrading our house. And yeah, maybe we can do that. How do you like the game so far? I like it a lot so far. I'm enjoying it. I've, <laughs> I've been playing the whole weekend, the last like four days. Uh, maybe it's a reward when your competence goes up that you can make more. Maybe that could be something. Uh, that would be great actually. But I don't know that to be the case right now, but maybe in the future, who knows. Thank you. 
So, all right, yeah. let's upgrade. So I'd like to upgrade this. Yay. And maybe, you know what? Let's upgrade our bucket. And yeah, now I'm going to keep my silver for my house. So I need to get 30 silver. So I'm just going to keep it. I noticed there's a frame drop when running. Yes, there is. Uh, or at the shrine. No, so I should at the shrine. The only thing you can get is more stamina and then increase your level of your soil. And the other thing is uh, to know the new Kotopon that will appear in the Kotopon village. Um, but yeah, so the only like two perks are really like improve your stamina and improve your soil. Is there more content than Friends of Mineral Town? So far, I would say definitely there's a lot more than in Mineral Town for sure. Especially if you like decor, like in Mineral Town, you couldn't move anything around in your farm, right? But I feel like here, if you're creative or if you just, yeah, I feel like there's a lot more you can do with your farm and customizing. Of course, I haven't done much of that yet. But yeah, let's try our new bucket. It is definitely a little bit faster. It, it is still a lot of work, but a little bit faster. So you guys will see tomorrow, this will actually be all covered up. So we get some treasures that you have to bring to the museum to inspect. Is there, um, I didn't know you were streaming live. My bath is ready, so I'll have to watch it in a while. Oh, no worries. See you later. Or hopefully you enjoy the watching it back later. And yeah, have a good bath. And you can, yeah, I'm pretty sure you, you can't do that without the draining machine, the pumps. Just casually cleaning up puddles while it's raining. Yeah, it's not <laughs> definitely not what would be the best thing to do in real life, but it works. So I'm getting lots of treasures. And let's get some clay as well. And I think after that what I can do, maybe I, I'm gonna start placing down some paths, like I can make a little pathway here at least that's gonna be something that stays clean and yeah I'm not too sure what kind of paths I'm gonna use so far I'm going with the stone but you know I might change it later but yeah so I have the wood one I wish there was like a dirt path but there's none of that there's the mortar is good too. Wood is good too, but I think I'm gonna go with this. There's also brick one, so I'm gonna show you the different paths. There is brick path. There's the iron path. There is the mortar, like cement path. There's the wood and there's the like the stone. So so far I'm going with stones, but I might change it later. And also they're the cheapest, like easiest to make. Have you decided yet who are you gonna marry? No, I haven't decided yet. I haven't focused too much on building friendships. So far I don't have any, I don't have any friends. Uh, can the pawn appear again? Yes, they can appear again. All right, but they would appear in like a different spot and tomorrow it will fill up so So what I would like to do I'm gonna have to move these guys Like this And I'm gonna make like a path maybe Good job. Good job. 
I wanna leave some space for the animals. Maybe I can do something like this and like this and then here, right? Like a straight line like this. And I'm probably gonna change it later because as I said like the barn will get bigger the chicken coop will get bigger So I'm pr I will probably have to restart this eventually But I just want to like have something in the meantime just so it doesn't look too too bad, right? So I'm gonna grab some rocks Actually, I have so many rocks and the oh, my wood. I need to make sure I keep making planks I have so many rocks, right? 234 and um, yeah, they, they don't have too many uses, so I just use them to make paths. Have you found anything like the coffee cow in Mineral Town? So far, no, and I don't think there is, but yeah, that's one thing I liked in Mineral Town was the strawberry cow, the fruit cow. Um, coffee cow, but I don't I I think there's just one type of cow. Oh wait, actually there's the buffalo Too right. I almost forgot about this, but there's a buffalo that we can get later uh, We can have goats But I haven't seen anything about different cows though Oh wait, I took iron wait. I need to take my stones actually uh, Stones yeah, this one 592 I have even more I feel like the raw resources I have a lot but it's just using the makers when you have to process them that's when it starts taking a long time yeah they don't the, the makers don't look very good right and now they're kind of like in the way especially but yeah I hope we can have like a Make your building eventually. That would be pretty good to have. Um. Okay, I want to get this. I'm gonna make some silver because I don't have too much gold left. So. There's a black chicken, so maybe there will be something like that in other animals. Maybe, but I don't think, because if you look at your uh, animals, you can see, so it says I have one cow, zero goat, one sheep, uh, one alpaca, and two chicken. Oh, I thought the chicken and silk chicken were separated, but they're actually together. So, yeah, you're right. Maybe there's going to be different cows. Um, yeah, I was gonna say the silk chicken and the chicken are separate But no, they actually count towards the same. So maybe yeah, maybe there's gonna be a different cow Let's see Let's see you can use the hammer on those holes where the puddles were it doesn't do anything. Oh Actually, yes, it does. Oh gosh I, I thought I think if you just leave them on the next day, they will spawn back but yeah, thank you so much. Um, there's a buffalo though. Yeah, there is a buffalo. Don't forget to go to the museum to give the treasures. Yes, I will do that. I just want to do my paths. But oops. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the museum today. Maybe I'm, I'm just gonna do this path and then we're gonna go to the museum. And I would like also along my path later I can put some benches and I can also put some um, trees. I want to plant 
So instead of having just these random trees grow everywhere, I would like to have some fruit trees. I would like to have like one orchard, but also have uh, fruit trees a little bit everywhere. So I can control where they grow. Uh, also, one other thing. Also, oh, this one is still in process, so I'm gonna just go over here. Also, one thing that's a little bit disappointing is that you can't place interior furniture outside. So, like, you, like you, you can buy a table or something at the furniture store, like chairs, but you can't place them outside, which is too bad, because that would be nice. And also, you cannot place furniture on the path. So if you want to like place a path and place on a bench on it, you cannot do that. You have to place the path and then you have to place the bench beside it. But yeah, that's a small detail. All right. So can't you craft some well all of the um yeah like the furniture the interior furniture you can't craft it it has to be bought at the store but uh yeah it, it's not uh, well there's some actually uh like this uh light but you can only place it in inside your house you cannot place it outside so now let's go to the museum and trade or trade a few things Inspect a few things. Can you place? No, so you cannot place the makers on the paths. And since the makers take four squares, you can't even place paths between the makers, right? Because if, yeah, that would be nice to maybe make a, like an area like similar to my garden where I just have paths and like a little fence and I put all of my makers there so it looks like a building but you can't actually do that unfortunately so I don't remember on what day I think I think the museum is closed on Wednesday so I should be good today yes all right so let's inspect yeah. everything Speaking of museum, I feel like it's been a while since I've spotted a new animal or like a new bug. So I haven't taken any new pictures for the museum recently. I don't know if the animals change every season. Maybe in fall there's gonna be new things. Hopefully we'll get Giga makers later on making like 10 of each. The makers are so ugly. I hope so. But I really wish there was some kind of factory building for all the makers. But we have all the complaints that the community has. I'm curious to see if they're gonna change it or not. Let's let's see. Yeah, I know they changed the producer. Like the producer that used to work on Story of Seasons is now working on Rune Factory 5. So it was a different one that was working on this game. So that's why like the game in general feels quite different from previous Story of Seasons, I believe. I'm usually excited for new Story of Seasons. But so close to canceling my pre-order. Oh no! I feel like, even though it's not a perfect game, I feel like it's a lot of fun. I'm really, I don't know, as I'm just speaking for myself, but I'm really enjoying it so far. Even though like, the makers bother me a little bit, I think it's not game breaking. But also it depends on how you play. Like I feel like a lot of people like focus on the social inter interaction a lot. Um, so I haven't explored that part of the game yet too much, but also I'm I'm just working 
spending so much time on my farm, but I feel like once your farm is set up, you can you're gonna be able to spend more time with the villagers and right. And like you don't need to craft like fancy paths or anything like that if you don't want to, right? So really depends on your type of what you like to do. The makers make it feel like you're free to play a mobile game. Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but yeah, let's hope, let's just hope that they do something with the makers with an update. Alright, so we've got this, it's not too too bad, but <laughs> like once again the makers are kind of the problem, I don't know where to put them, uh, maybe, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, like I can't even fit them in the corner here, um, yeah you can't place them on the paths, so I'm gonna put my little Mayo makers here. And my little yogurt, can I fit it here? Yeah, yogurt here. Okay, so this is gonna be like this. And now let's make more hardwood planks. Thank you for the hard work. So glad you're able to play this and give those eagerly waiting a sneak peek. Ah, oh, Jessica, thank you so much for the super chat and the support that's so appreciated thank you so so much uh, honestly this game is giving me classic vibes it feels a lot closer to the older games like 64 back to nature not a bad thing just different from the newer ones yeah um i'm not sure anyway i'm having a lot of fun i'm not sure i'm getting that many 64 vibes but I think if I would have to compare it I feel like it feels like a new beginning a lot but yeah it's a lot of fun I remember myself as a four-year-old watching my older brothers play the very first Harvest Moon game ever been a fan ever since oh that's so sweet yeah for me I started on the 64 I've also played the one on the Super Nintendo a little bit but yeah it's really with the 64 that I started but yeah I'm really just enjoying this game so far and I, I feel like every story of seasons game is very different and that's one thing I like about this series it's not just the same like if you if you like Call of Duty for example it's gonna be <laughs> pretty much the same thing like over and over again but I feel like with Story of Seasons, they're all they all share the same concept, but they're all so different from each other, and like they all have their their own unique points. And like I remember when I started playing A Wonderful Life, I didn't like it because there was no way to like gather like wood and rocks. There was not too much like gathering resources. Like in 64, like you could chop woods and stuff. So I was so disappointed for Wonderful Life. But now that I think back to Wonderful Life, and like I feel like the storyline and like the fact that you could get you could get old, I think that was so interesting. And yeah, and now I like it. So yeah, I feel like all of the games are different in this series, and that's why I'm still playing this series even after 20 something years um have you guys seen the mini game have i showed you that mini game in the sky i think time production doesn't make it like a mobile game there are lots of proper games like minecraft stardew valley yeah true there are lots of game it's not lots of game use that concept of like producing with makers and like you have to wait and it's not like you don't have to wait real real lifetime, right? It's not like if you have to wait. Like on a mobile game, you would have to wait like a real 30 minutes. 
but now like it's just waiting the game time so it's not too bad but I just wish um, yeah okay so in this game you have to uh, get all of the pick up on and you need to avoid the beans so it's kind of like a memory game and it gives you colo coin and I think if you get a perfect score you actually uh, get one extra heart. That's what I've read on the Japanese website. Oh, I have 10 seconds left and hopefully I can make it. So maybe you guys are going to be able to help me to <laughs> memorize which one is safe. All right, so we did it. So, okay, all right. So the three there, okay, this two, okay. So I'm just going to... So left of this one is not good. This one is good. This one is good. Ah, uh, no, this one is not good. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. <laughs> Why am I so bad? Okay, all right. Let's hurry up. Ah, this is embarrassing. I, I promise I'm not always that bad. How old are you? I'm 27. Ah, oh, okay, that was lame. You could take a screenshot on your Switch. Yeah, I could actually. But I think you can't pause. I think like 59. Yeah, I, I guess you could, but you can't. Yeah, I, I'm not going to cheat, but I, I guess you could do that. Uh, I completely forgot to... <laughs> I was focused on taking the screenshot and I didn't. Uh, I, I'm really not sure where they are. Yeah, I don't want to look at my screenshot. I don't want to cheat. I'm going to take a look at the chat after. I know people have been asking which bachelorette or bachelor I want to go for. And I'm not too sure. I, ah. I feel like if I have to pick in the bachelorettes, it would be Blair or maybe Reina. Maybe Blair. Blair for the. Oh, wow, that was so bad. Blair as a bachelorette. Or if I pick a bachelor, I was. Maybe Emilio. At first, I wanted to pick Yori. But. Like in the Japanese game, he's talking in a very. Kind of. Old fashioned Japanese style. And. I can barely understand anything he says, so he's really cool, but I think, yeah, maybe if a bachelor Emilio, if a bachelorette uh, Blair, so as, as I increase my friendship with them, we're gonna see. Oh, so many, so many people are 27, that's good to see. Are there secrets, bachelors, bachelorettes? I don't know. So far, there's like the spirit kind of goddess girl, but there's no way to even have like a... F there's no like friendship bar or anything with her. So I'm not sure if there's a way to date her. Uh, possibly. Let me see if we can actually give her something. You know what? I have a tulip. Let's see if I can give her a tulip. I know the games are geared towards all ages, so the dialogue has to be kid-friendly, but I kind of wish they would make more mature installment for the original audience. Stardew was nice for that. Yeah, true. I feel like the dialogues and... Like, the dialogues were touching, like, deeper issues and, like, more complex things in Stardew Valley. Uh, but in my case, honestly, I don't mind too much that sometimes the dialogue is kind of childish or but I don't mind that as as long as like the characters are like you can get attached to them and yeah you know what uh, with the DLC you can have more oh yeah there's a few um, yeah there's gonna be way more bachelors and bachelorettes with the DLCs so I don't even know if I should like find someone now or if I just just like focus on my farm for now and when the DLC comes out then I can um, do that focus on the new bachelors 
Yeah, you can't even give her a gift. So... If we can date her, I don't know how. And as you can see here, there's gonna be something. Eventually, so I'm guessing we can go to like some mountain area. But... I'm really not sure like how and when. And you know what? Let's see how Ralph is doing. I feel like I've been neglecting him. I barely even talk to him anytime. So let's let's see how he's doing. And uh, yeah, the DLCs are characters from returning games. Returning characters from previous games. Uh, one thing I always wished for selfishly was children whose tone matched your characters. I play with dark skin. And my children on games always look like they were adopted. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Yeah, sometimes I... Yeah, that's <laughs> that's such a... I, I feel like if you couldn't change... If they let you choose your character's skin color, they should take the time to make the babies that match that color. Uh, if, you, if you're not gonna bother do that, maybe... Yeah, that's, that's kind of odd, actually. Oh, five iron ingots. That's actually a very good reward. So we can almost craft another, um, almost upgrade another tool. Maybe we can get maybe the hammer. We can get the gold hammer. So once we have the gold hammer, it's going to be even easier to get more gold. And then we can upgrade everything. Yeah, I don't know if the forest is a DLC area or just something that's going to unlock with the story. If that's a DLC area, I feel bad for <laughs> I feel bad for the people who didn't get the DLC and they're gonna see this area in their game and always wondering what's happening with that area. Have you played Tree of Towns? It didn't have mature dialogue, but they did a really good job fleshing out the character. I didn't get the chance to play Tree of Towns, unfortunately. But I would really like to try it out. So I'm not sure why I have a tulip and a potato in my inventory but um, I guess I can sell these as well as the cucumber okay and now let's clean our inventory before the end of the day and as you can see guys it's midnight so I feel like every day <laughs> every day I'm playing like I always use every minute of the day whereas when I was playing mineral town I was always like going to bed <laughs> very early but here there's just like so many things to do there is no time to waste at all. But then again, if you sleep late, though, you wake up late. So it's not, it doesn't necessarily give you much more extra time. But. All right, so here, let's put some stuff away. Like this. And put some grass in here. Okay, and now let's just put our folder in there oh it's 40 oh it's already full I don't know if you can fill it up from the silo directly that would be pretty nice no you can just fill it up from your inventory okay all right I love the soundtrack in previous games I hope it continues with this yeah so far I really like the summer song I feel like it's catchy um but yeah, so far the music has been pretty good in this one. Um, Alright. 2 hours 48. Oh my gosh, I forgot the... Wait, what day is it? 24th. Guys, we completely forgot the firework event on the 22nd. I'm sure it was just a cutscene. I'm pretty sure it was just a cutscene. But yeah, I was just completely <laughs> thinking about so many other things. Oh no. Too bad. No firework festival this year. But I'm thinking it's just a very simple cutscene with fireworks. Okay, let me just catch up with the chat. Um, I'm going to be so hard torn when playing this because both Neil and Lotus will eventually be in the game and married and I married both in previous games yeah I think if one of your characters is coming back maybe you can wait for the DLC are there accessories that change the speed of time and other things like previous versions 
I haven't seen any kind of special items like this so far and maybe we're still too early for like people still have not discovered these I'm guessing but so far I don't know I really love the fall team in the first story of seasons you know my favorite story of seasons theme I think is the fall theme in Harvest Moon 64 just thinking about it, it comes back in my head, and I know it was just super catchy, and I have so many <laughs> memories with the yeah. So the fall team of Harvest Moon sixty four is my all time favorite. Um, it would be nice to see more social interactions. Okay, maybe I, maybe I could do that today. At the rate you're going, you'll see the fireworks next year soon. Anyway, yeah, I guess so, right? So, yeah, maybe we can go give some gifts. HM64 will always be my favorite. Yeah, it's so good. All right. I, I wish they would make a remake of 64, but they just made the remake of Friends of Mineral Town like not too long ago, so I don't think... I think it would probably take a little while. And also this year is the 25th anniversary of the Story of Seasons series. So, I'm hoping we can, like, beside Olive Town, I would like if we would have something else, like a little surprise. But, I don't know if that's gonna be the case. Who is the character on the display for today's stream? Uh, what do you mean the character on the display? Oh, you mean the bottom right corner, right? That's just my... Um, You mean the bottom right corner? That's just the <laughs> my channel icon. That's my character from Animal Crossing. Uh, all right, so we've got our onions. Let's take care of our animals, and then I'm gonna take some random gifts and thing to give to my villagers. I've never played Save the Homeland actually. I think I want to try it. Okay, so let's do some silver and uh, yeah, I don't have enough gold for even one. So some silver and wood like this, hardwood. Yeah, I like rain. You don't have to... Actually, I... It's been raining so much the whole summer, so I've upgraded my watering can a few days ago. Actually, I want to see. I think it's going to be 3x3, three three. yeah. But I didn't get to use it since I've upgraded, which is such a shame. I, I really want to try it. Oh, they're talking about the goddess. Oh, sorry, my bad. Um, Yeah, that's the sprite uh, goddess. Sorry, I completely <laughs> forgot about the thumbnail. Uh, the kids don't need to have the same eyes or expression. The main character have their own skin tone. The game only needs to mix the two. Yeah, it's not impossible. Yeah. And there's... Yeah, definitely... Especially, like, I feel like Japanese games. Like, in terms of, like, skin tones and things like that, they're not always like <laughs> very inclusive so it's already a step forward that we can change the skin tone but uh, yeah hopefully the kids could have different skin tones yeah well the sims are <laughs> I mean, in The Sims, there's a very complex genetics system. So, but I feel like they could do like a simpler version of that. Like, I think they could do like a very simple genetic system. Like, 
but yeah. Oh, level 6. Yeah. Alright, so I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Let's. Uh, what do I need for this? I need. Oh my gosh, I need more wood to build a stable than to expand my house. Uh, should I do. Hmm. I don't know if I should. Do you guys want to see the stable first or you want to see the bigger house? Maybe I should focus on my stable, right? So, oh, this one, I have 40. This one, okay, so I need this one. I need to make more of this wood, which is this one. So that's the one we're gonna do next. Yeah, I think maybe we can do this table next. So see, they're they're respawning again in a slightly different spot, but yeah, they spawn very fast. The house isn't really a priority at the moment. Yeah, true. Um, The horse will make travel much faster. Yeah, true. So maybe. Alright, let's focus on the stable. Alright, so let's go here. Take this up. Okay, let me see actually for my planks. So I need a lot of regular planks. Let me see if uh, the Kodopon guy, if he's selling planks by any chance. If not, I think I can buy them. Uh, well, I can maybe get some from them. Some iron. Veggies, and I think this guy right here, Kikopon. Yeah, he gave me just three lugs. But let's see if you can trade. I feel like there's always more and more items here. No, so you can buy the lugs, but you can't. Uh, yeah. Okay, all right, that's not good. Okay, so let's go to the general store. Oh no, it's Tuesday. The general store, I think, is closed on Tuesday. Because for the regular planks, if I can just buy them instead of crafting them, I, I wonder if we'll be able to have a boat later on close to your house as a place for it. Yeah, that's one thing I was wondering. Uh, like, is it just for fishing? Or is there gonna be something else? But there's like rocks, so I don't know how there would be a boat, but maybe you're gonna have to repair something or I don't know, but that's definitely interesting. I'm I'm wondering if there's gonna be some things. Can you have more pets with a bigger house? Yes. When you upgrade your house you can have uh, one more pet. And I'm guessing it's gonna be one extra pet per upgrade. So I'm looking forward to getting a second pet. Alright, so now, okay, I want to check. So I think the general store is closed on Tuesday. Yeah, it's closed. Okay, let's see. Oh, we've got a little tourist. Let's see how Emilio is doing. Could be a jet ski. Oh my gosh, that, that, that would be so much fun. I don't think, but you know what? That would be a lot of fun. Oh, they're all talking about the. Um, she was talking about the fireworks festival, which I missed. <laughs> Maybe I can see if he likes turnips. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. 
yeah I, I would have to look up uh, the actual preferences of each bachelorette bachelor because now it's <laughs> I go mostly with just trial and error see what they like see what they don't like sometimes Yori's oh, no, no one here today I feel like it's raining, so there's no one outside. There's the fireworks festival. It was a lot of fun. I want to see... I feel like I need a different outfit. I've been wearing the same thing for over a month. Hi. Let's see if there's... Now that I have more money, I was really broke when I first built this and now like I didn't have any materials or money but I feel like now this is getting more like achievable but I don't have any cloths actually yeah I'm not gonna be able to do much let's see let's see the I think I'm gonna start from the bottom I think I wanna wear I think I, I wanna wear a suit but I'm not sure what's the item, the one that I need five or four, five of, um, but yeah, I really don't have the materials for this, you know what? Are there bees flowers in the game for farming? Yes, there are bees. Uh, there's a beehive that I have to repair that I still haven't done. Yeah, the clothes are really cute, but yeah, they're just kind of <laughs> expensive. They need resources. So you know what we could do? Um, maybe we could start working on that because I have lots of wools and like threads and stuff. So, uh, so this is a thread maker. So I have this. No, this is yeah. Um, the thread maker. So I have this. Um. There's so many things. Essence maker, I've never done that. Powder, like flower maker, I've never done that. Um, this one is a cloth maker. So this one I can actually make it right away. And... You know what? We, we, we can... Yeah, let's do that. Let's do our little sewing. Let's build some... Let's make some clothes. Actually, uh, so three hours passed by really fast. Yeah, we already reached three hours, guys. It's it's been flying by so fast, and I feel like I could continue for a while, but I'm getting so hungry <laughs> right now to the point where I'm scared you guys are going to start hearing my stomach because I'm really, really hungry. Uh, so I'm not going to continue for too, too long, but yeah, um... Yeah, okay, let's just build this. So let's make... So I need this. And I need... Oh, okay. Let, okay, ah, there. The makers take so much space. Man. Um, okay, like this. Oh, I have another wood right here. Okay. You know what? Let's make a lot of wood. Maybe I should make like a wood cutting area and I could hide my wood cutting things in there. Maybe, yeah, instead of having all of my makers in one area, maybe I could have like these makers near a mine, these ones near a wood cutting area, and like, you know, like everything different places. And then, I think it's this one, I'm not too sure. Oh no, it's thread. I just need thread, which I have. This one. Oh, my bag is full. Okay, alright. <laughs> um, there's always something wrong. What mount would you prefer? I think <laughs> I would really like the horse. 
Uh, but of course I would like to have my scooter back. Maybe we're gonna get the scooter at the same after fixing the stable, right? When you actually get mounts. Um, someone ordered Josh a pizza. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, all right. So my cloth maker, like I have my, my thread here. I feel like I should have all of my, you know, I'm gonna put it here for now. So in this one, I can put, oh, you need three, okay. So I need, well, I'm gonna put this one then. So I'm gonna put this one, like this. And I think there's another thing I wanted to build. Oh, color maker, you know what? Let's make the color maker. So the color maker you need, uh, yeah, you need to put flowers in it and it's gonna give you colors. And I think after that, I can change the color of my boxes. So let's see if there's, okay. Let's go grab some flowers. So this is a pink cat, so maybe it's gonna give me pink. No. Um, okay, let's see what kind of flowers. This is sage, I don't think... No. Um, okay, let's try to pick some flowers and see what flowers you can actually make something with. Morning, bro. 4am from Indonesia. Oh! Thank you so much for <laughs> watching at this time. Um, yeah, you need a lot of makers. Um, hey, Mathilde, how are you doing? So let's see with these flowers. Oops. This one is called magic red. So maybe it's gonna allow me to make red die let's see i can't wait to repair this building as well it's gonna take a while it's gonna take a little while i know i forgot to fly you know what let's <laughs> let's get them i love the two weather systems in rune factory does it have in this two like sunny in morning, rainy in afternoon. No, so it's just the same weather all day. I forgot there was that in Rune Factory, but yeah. Okay, wait. Let me let me just check. Um. Yeah, if you put flower, yeah. Uh, but I don't know what kind of flower qualifies because I've been using so many different flowers. And nothing. Oh, okay, so you can put sunflowers. Okay. So it's really not all types of flowers, but some flowers. So yeah, we're gonna get some yellow. Let's see if there's any other makers we can make. Um there's that Twitter system in Tales of Two Towns. Oh, I see. I've never played Tales of Two Towns as well. I feel like all the story of seasons I've been playing more on uh, console like home console more than the handheld ones uh, so I want to make this uh, yarn maker I need one glass to make glass I need the glass stone which I have so now I'm on the <laughs> crafting a lot of things all of a sudden glass so with the glass what do you get so now uh, yarn maker, so I need three regular planks, which I should have. Sorry, hardwood planks. Okay, wait, my inventory is full, so let's put something back without disorganizing everything. So let's make the yarn. So in the yarn maker, oh, okay, yeah, okay, all right, so that's the yarn. 
And okay, let's see if there's other makers now. I'm on, I'm on a roll. Um, this one I'm not sure. Oh, so you put salt and pepper and uh, sugar cane. So you're gonna get like salt and pepper and uh, sugar cane. I like sugar. So if you come here, like if you usually there's sugar cane growing here, but uh, usually there's actually salt on this beach. So if you put that in there, I should be able to make salt. Yes. And then let's check if there's something else. Um, desk light. Okay. Um, this is the pump cheese maker. So I'm gonna have to make that eventually. Um, this one, if you put yarn in this one, you get something that I'm not too sure, but you get so in this one you put yarn to transform your yarn into something else. Um, this one for jewelry. Oh, this one you can make soy sauce. So if you put rice and like beans, you get soy sauce. That's interesting. Um, essence maker, you put flowers and you get essence. Um, this is the powder maker. Oh, this one. Oh, that's the yogurt one Yeah, there's still a few makers I have to build but <laughs> As you can see even though I didn't build everything like it's a huge like it's so many different ones so it's definitely an interesting crafting system but Yeah, let's just clean up a little bit shall we? So definitely I should keep the boxes of the things that I need beside the makers that I need like together so otherwise you can get lost very very easily. I don't know, uh, yeah, some, I'm gonna put my rings somewhere else and my pearls, I don't think I need my pearls for crafting. Um, okay, let's put a wood back here. The <laughs> maker mania is crazy. It is. And like you keep unlocking them when you increase your skills. That's when you unlock new makers usually. Or when you get new materials. So I'm sure there's other makers that I don't have yet that I will get. So yeah, it's a lot. Definitely. Oops, uh, actually I want to sell them. Um, oh, I completely forgot to, actually I want to plant, wait, what day is it? 24, I think. I should have time for potatoes and just one pepper. I think, yeah, and then maybe if I, um, oops, I didn't want it. <laughs> That's not what I needed. Uh, I think after that, Okay, let's just plant, you know what, let's, I'm gonna buy onions or something that grows really quick for the last days. Like this. And then let's sell our onions. I want to keep a few for cooking. And yeah, I could make, I'm gonna make mayo and uh, yogurt. So I just come over here. Yogurt is this one. And mayo this one and this one. And I think we can call it a day. Maybe oh, we have our yellow dye. So I wanna see how how you use the dye. Can I just... Oh, yes. Ooh. So that's quite 
straightforward so you just go with the paint and you go near your furniture and you press Y and it changes it so I have my first yellow box but now I have to find what color what flower makes what color and maybe I can make another cloth let's see no I'm not gonna be able to but yeah so I need to start making more um, cloth and like thread definitely all right guys so I think on that note I think that's gonna be pretty much it for today I'm gonna go eat and yeah <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream it was a fun three hours and 15 minutes and I'm gonna see you in videos very soon i know a lot of you guys asked for longer videos so i'm gonna get that done and if you're not subscribed yet feel free to do that so you don't miss out and yeah it was a lot of fun so thank you so so much for watching and thank you once again to everybody who sent a super chat that's really really helpful and very uh Nice, very kind, so I'm very grateful for that. So yeah, thank you so, so much, and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye-bye.